Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these paper earrings. So let's get started. To prepare my cardboard for making earrings or pendants, I use any kind of cereal box cardboard. Using Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, I glue two layers together. After I have them glued together, two layers, you can paint them with acrylic paint and have them ready to go whenever you decide to make some earrings. Or you can just keep it like this and it'll still be ready to make some earrings. When this has dried, it will be very hard and rigid, but you will still be able to cut it with scissors. And I made myself some templates for cutting out earring shapes, and I did that by folding an index card and then cutting. These are three different shapes of hearts, and I did the same thing for these shapes. So to make this earring, you could paint your cardboard with acrylic paint, but I happened to find a flap on a box that was a good color, so I'm going to use that. And so I'm going to trace around my template and cut it out. And using Elmer's glue, some glue on the back, and I'm going to glue it to a section of cardboard. And I'm going to let my body heat help that glue to set up. Cut this out like that. Now you could use acrylic paint or some black nail polish. So today I'm going to use black nail polish. I'm going to do a blob on this end like that and then one down here and they don't have to be exactly the same and then just using the edge I'm going to make two little wavy lines like that. And I'm going to let that dry up. To prepare this type of finish, take acrylic paint, put a little puddle on. For this side I added white, for this side I added gold. Now you're just going to take a toothpick and just swirl this paint around like that. And then you let that dry. And then I placed my long template on and I traced around it and I cut it out. And another style, I start, started with my template and I traced it. Cut these out. Just going to make zigzag lines on this one. So I have my black nail polish. Like that, and I'm going to let those dry and puncture a hole. And I'm just going to do that to make the hole large enough for my jump ring, like that. And I have a Pilot Silver pen. I have to prime it to get it started, like that. Then I'm going to do the edges of this earring so that you have a little silver edge, like that. Now we'll make it look like metal. Like that. But I like to do it in silver because then it looks like metal. When your earrings are finished, either coat them with a clear glaze or some clear nail polish. Okay, to put these together, I'm going to pass a jump ring through the on front of the earring. And I have another video. I'll put the link below on how to make your own jump ring. And I'll also put a link below on how to make your own ear wires. Now on this one, I simply made this section a little bit longer. And before I made that loop on the bottom, I added some beads just along the stem there. So I'm going to add that, close up my jump ring. And there you have the finished earring. And you can see from this one how much that actually looks like metal. There you go. There's some paper jewelry that you can make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.